Hi, good morning, everyone. This is Virginia with Butterfly Journey Human Services, Butterfly Journey Ministries, and Doers of the Word Bible Study Fellowship. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, when you can find time to make time to look and listen to the Heavenly Father's Holy Words, His Holy Scriptures. And today we're going to read some scriptures that concern weapons of warfare. Yes, we are in a spiritual battle with our ultimate enemy, Satan the devil, who uses people, places, and things that are demonic, evil, and wicked to try to get us off the straight and narrow path. But he is not going to get us off the straight and narrow path because we're going to put and keep our trust in the Heavenly Father, Almighty Yahweh, Almighty Creator, King Rest, Almighty Heavenly Father. You know, we're faced with challenges every day especially if you're a believer a true servant child remnant of the heavenly father you are faced with all kinds of challenges bombarded by difficult decisions and and maybe uh pro problematic situations in your life your family work career maybe you someone who is going through some spiritual physical financial emotionally problems the heavenly father is there to help us through it all he is there listening right now as we are speaking and talking right now in this uh, biblical discussion, a biblical fellowship in the Holy Scriptures. So the Heavenly Father is listening right now. He is really loving us and he is really reaching out to us, trying to get us to change our hearts, change our ways. He wants to renew our mind, renew our spirit, renew our renew our emotions, renew our behavior that will become more like his son, the Messiah, Yeshua, Yahushua, Jesus of Nazareth. So uh, let's open with a brief prayer. Then we're going to get into the Heavenly Father's love letter, his holy scriptures. Dear Heavenly Father, Almighty Yahweh, we bow down as humble as we know how at your foot of your throne. We come bow down the needs of our heart or our physical needs, Heavenly Father, asking you to forgive us for all our sins, asking you to have mercy on our sinful souls, asking you to guide, direct, and lead our steps, thoughts, and actions that be pleasing to you, Heavenly Father. Forgive us for all the terrible words we said, terrible things we did, the terrible things we have thought about. Heavenly Father, help us live holy, pure, and righteous in these days of Noah, preparation, journey, in the days of Lot, in these last days that we are now living in. Heavenly Father, we know that you will continue to shake the heavens and the earth to get people's attention to wake up spiritually in order to have an opportunity to, to accept, believe, and receive you while there's still time to do so. Heavenly Father, we know that there's nothing too hard for you, Heavenly Father. We know that you in charge and in control of everything and everyone, Heavenly Father. You are so merciful, gracious, kind, and loving. Thank you for waking us up today or tonight. Thank you for watching over us as we're sleeping. Thank you for no harm or danger or no hurting came to us from outside demonic and wicked forces. Heavenly Father, continue to have your holy angels, cherubim, and seraphim, archangels surround us and protect us from all demonic, evil, wicked people, places, and things. Heavenly Father, we ask that your Holy Spirit be with us inside our body temples, those who are born again by the blood of the Lamb, Yeshua, Yeshua. Heavenly Father, we thank you, thank you, thank you for your love, mercy, grace, forgiveness, peace, protection, power, provision, wisdom, intelligence, not understanding, favor, anointing, discernment that you give to all your humble, obedient, clay, vessel, servants, children, remnants who are loving you with all their heart, loving you with all their heart, mind, soul, and strength and all their might, and they love their neighbors and they love themselves. Heavenly Father, these people who are called your child servants and remnants, they are also, as we are also, going to humble ourselves under your mighty hand. In due time, you will lift us up, and we are going to spend time reading and studying and meditating on your holy scriptures and our private place of prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you, thank you, thank you. We can never thank you enough, Heavenly Father. You're so good. You're so good to us in spite of ourselves. Help us to be a light to those ones who are in darkness. Help us to live your holy word every day and every way. In the name of the Messiah, Yeshua, Yeshua, Jesus of Nazareth, amen. So we're going to read these scriptures. 
And this is a book that I bought many years ago. And I just, the Holy Spirit brought it to my attention. I have several books in my home about several years ago from different travels and different living uh, locations, uh, Georgia, New York, Florida. So this is a book by Storm, uh, her name is uh, Stormy or Morton, and it's called The Power of a Praying Mom, and it's three in one collection, okay? So it's three books in one. So it's The Power of a Praying Wife, The Power of a Praying Parent, and The Power of Praying for Your Adult Children. So I'm going to read the prayers and scriptures that is placed in this book on page 44 and it's called weapons of warfare and these are just holy scriptures that you can read from your own holy bible holy scriptures your torah um tanakh and so psalm chapter 91 verses 1 and 2 says he who dwells in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty i will say of the lord he is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in him I will trust. Then in Isaiah chapter 43, verse 2, when you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned, nor shall the flame scorch you. Isaiah chapter 54, verse 17 no weapon formed against you shall prosper and every tongue which rises against you in judgment you shall condemn this is the heritage of the servants of the lord and their righteousness is from me says the lord psalm 91 again in verse 9 and 10 because you have made the lord who is my refuge even the most high your dwelling place no evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. And lastly, Psalm chapter 4, verse 8. I will both lie down in peace and sleep. For you alone, O Lord, make me dwell in safety. These are weapons of warfare. These are our spiritual weapons from the Heavenly Father's Holy Words, His Holy Scriptures that we use when we're in a spiritual battle. Going back to Psalm 91, verse 1 and 2. He who dwells, dwells in that we are in that presence. We are staying in that location. We are living in a secret place of the Most High. We have to dwell in that secret place of fellowshipping, loving, worshiping, glorifying, honoring, that secret place of loving the Heavenly Father, all our heart, mind, soul, strength, loving our neighbors and love ourselves, that secret place of obeying, believing, seeking, and doing the Heavenly Father's Holy Word, the secret place of spending time with Him in our private place of prayer, of reading, study, of meditate on His Holy Word, the secret place of knowing that the Heavenly Father is almighty, sovereign supreme king of everything the secret place of spending time in his presence in our private place of prayer of worshiping and loving him and obeying and seeking and serving him and we shall abide we will live we will stay under the shadow of the almighty we will stay in the shadow that means we'll be in his protective protective hand his protected arms, the shadow of his protection, peace, power, provision, shadow of his wisdom, his knowledge, understanding, the shadow of his guiding and direction, leading us through the Holy Spirit, his shadow. It goes on to say here, I will say of the Lord. He, the Almighty Yahweh, he, creator, king of the universe, is Yod, hey, ba, hey, El Gabor, El Shaddai, El El Yon, is my refuge is our refuge and my fortress he is going to be our protection he's going to have a place of safety for us and he is going to rock somebody's world when they try to come against his humble obedient clay that's a service to the remnants 
The Heavenly Father's one is in control and charge, and he is going to protect us, and he's going to give us a place of safety. My God, it goes on to say here, in him I will trust. We will put our faith, hope, and trust in the Almighty Yahweh. I know sometimes it's difficult to do that when we are faced with a serious challenge in our lives. It could be a family member, a loved one. It could be a, a child, a grandchild. It could be something happening at our employment, at work, in our business. It could be something happening around the world, like the pandemic and all the different variants and all the things and the news you hear on the television, on your electronic devices, all the different things and words and craziness that goes on in the world today. You may say, wow, it's difficult to trust Heavenly Father in these crazy, difficult times. That's why we need to dwell in the secret place. We spend time with Heavenly Father in the secret place, which I just listed earlier. We should stay, abide under the shadow. Because when we are in the secret place and we're dwelling there and we are going to stay with Heavenly Father, He will be our refuge and fortress. He'll be our place of safety and protection. And as we are trusting Him. Now, let's go to Isaiah 43 2. It says, when you pass through the waters, <laughs> that means children, servants, and remnants of the Heavenly Father, Almighty Yahweh, the Him, is going to pass through some waters, some troubled waters. You know that song, Trouble Waters, is an old hymnal gospel that a lot of people know. Some may or may not know. But we will pass through the waters. We're going to have some troubling, tribulation, trying times. But it says we're going to pass through them. As we are passing through those waters, it says, I will be with you. The Heavenly Father is going to be with us as we're going through our waters <laughs> and through the rivers. When we go through those ridiculous rivers of troubles and trials and tribulation and testing, the Heavenly Father is going to be with us. That's part of our training. That's part of our getting prepared for these days of no preparation journey and the days of Lot and the last days that we're now living in is going to heighten and increase. We have to go through the waters and go through the rivers and the Heavenly Father is going to be with us as we've gone through those troubling waters and trying rivers. They will not overflow us. It says they will not overflow you. Even though we're going through the waters and the rivers that may come up to our our knee, you know, the water's coming up to our knee. Like, uh oh, Heavenly Father, I need you. Then now the, the waters and rivers come up to our waist, our hip area. Oh Lord, Almighty Yahweh, I need you. The, we're, the water's coming up to our stomach, our, our chest area now. The water's coming up to our chest. Heavenly Father, I need you to help me through these troubling waters and ridiculous and horrible rivers and times in my life. But just as it gets to our neck, the waters and rivers get to our neck, the Heavenly Father said it's not going to overflow us. The Heavenly Father is going to help us in that troubling water, troubling river times of our lives. And it will not overflow us. It says, when you walk through the fire, we're going to go through some fire and some flames, maybe not physically, but spiritual fire and spiritual flames of trouble, waters, trouble, rivers, trying times, physical, emotional, financial, mentally, spiritually, flames and fire that but we're going to walk through the fire. When we walk through the fire, which again is a way of us being prepared and trained, we've been uh, prepared for what's coming down the road in the future, this year and beyond. The Heavenly Father is shaking the heavens and the earth, part of his correctional judgments, horrific, humbling acts and events coming upon the earth. And the fire will not scorch us, it says here. In Isaiah chapter 43, verse 2, we will not be burned and we will not be scorched. The fire that we're walking through is because the Heavenly Father's protective presence and hands and his holy angels, cherub and seraph archangels, are surrounding us, protecting us through the fire, the flames, 
through the rivers, through the waters. The Heavenly Father is going to be there for his humble, obedient, clay vessel service to the remnant who are trusting, believing, and loving him, following his word, doing his word, spending time with him every day. If you just got five minutes, read the word of God or pray or both or listen to some scriptures. I know everyone's busy, 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 but we must, we should take time every day. Every day, seven days a week, every day of the seven days a week, we should spend some time reading and or listening to the Heavenly Father's Holy Word. Now, let's go to Isaiah chapter 54, verse 17, which is a famous scripture. A lot of believers, a lot of Christians, a lot of followers of the Almighty know the scripture by heart even. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. So we see here that. There's going to be weapons formed against the humble obedience of the almighty Yahweh, children, servants, and remnants. Those who are trusting and believing and having faith in the almighty created king universe is going to have some weapons. These are spiritual weapons from God's well, Our battle, our battle, our battle is not with human beings. It is with Satan, the devil, as it says in the Holy Word, the Holy Scriptures, that our, our, our weapons is the heavenly father's holy word but our fight is not with a human being even though it may seem like it we go oh, my family this co-worker this stranger even they just seem like they just don't like me they just give me a lot of problems i don't know why well that's because you and i have the holy spirit in us and satan the devil is using demonic evil wicked people places and things through the through a unholy spirit it's an evil spirit that comes and recognize the holy spirit that we have in our hearts so this weapon that the heavenly father that given us is a weapon of his word to go against and warfare against the spiritual battle our fight is not with flesh and blood the word of god said it's a spiritual battle and but no weapon, whether it's spiritual, physical, financial, emotionally, will not prosper because we are, as we read earlier in Psalm 91 and Isaiah 43, that we are dwelling in the secret place of the Most High. We're abiding on the shadow of the Almighty. He's our refuge and our fortress. We trust in him. He is going to be with us. And he's going to help us walk through the waters, the rivers, the fires, and the flame will not scorch us. And so the Heavenly Father is going to not allow any weapon that's formed against us to prosper. That weapon will be destroyed. That weapon of destruction against us will be destroyed by the Heavenly Father in his hand. And every tongue that rises up against you in judgment, the Heavenly Father will condemn. See, there's a lot of people who are going to be gossiping and talking down and dissing. <laughs> The children's service and remember the Heavenly Father, Almighty Yahweh. That's just part of our job, in a sense. I mean, we are children's servants and remember the Heavenly Father. People are going to talk bad about us, going to say negative words about us. But but we're going to continue to love those people who are saying negative words, gossiping, saying bad words about us. We're going to pray for those individuals. We're going to pray that he or she come to accept. Believe and receive the truth of Almighty Elohim and His Holy Word. Become a child, a servant, and remember the Heavenly Father. We pray for those ones who are talking down and talking against and saying ungodly words about us. So, continue reading. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. This is an heritage when we are when we are coming against these people with a spiritual weapon which is the word of god and we will trust in the lord that he will rise up against these people and judge them and the heavenly father will condemn those ones who are judging and condemning us because we are loving the heavenly father with all our heart to myself and strength we are following the word of yahweh the heme creator king of the universes we are trusting him. We're going to put all the situation, all the matter in the Heavenly Father's holy hands. Continue reading. 
This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is from me, says the Lord. So our righteousness, as word of God said, is like filthy rags. But the righteousness of the Heavenly Father gives us will come from him. So the Heavenly Father is teaching us the righteous ways to live holy, pure, and righteous. He's going to teach us how to do this when we are following, reading, studying, meditating, and doing his Heavenly Father's, his Holy Scriptures. Now, let's go to Psalm 91, verses 9 and 10. Because you have made the Lord, this is servants, children, and remnants, and the Heavenly Father, humble clay vessels, have made the Lord, who is my refuge. See, we have made the Heavenly Father our refuge, our place of protection, our place of a tower, a refuge, and even the Most High, your dwelling place. We have made the Heavenly Father our dwelling place. No evil shall befall you. That means no evil. Now, this doesn't mean we're not going to go through some trying and difficult times, but the evil that someone or an evil demonic spirit or Satan that will try to put upon us, it will not come on us. Heavenly Father will protect us because he's our refuge. The refuge means he is protecting us from evil. Nor shall any plague come near your dwelling, it says here in Psalm 91. We have to believe and trust in the Heavenly Father's holy word that he is going to cause no plague, no evil to come near our dwelling, our place of residence, or where we are staying, where we're living. And, uh, and lastly, Psalm chapter 4, verse 8. I will both lie down in peace. <laughs> when we have the Heavenly Father as our refuge and rock and redeemer, we have Heavenly Father as we are in the secret place. We are dwelling with him. We are abiding in him. And also it says here, when we are putting our faith, hope, and trust, going through the waters and the rivers and the fire and the flame, the Heavenly Father will not allow us to drown, will not allow us to be burned or scorched. And any weapon that come against us will not prosper because we are the heritage of the Heavenly Father. And he is teaching us how to live righteous, his righteousness. And we are trusting that he is our dwelling place and he will not allow any evil or plague to overcome and overtake us. And we'll have that peace to lie down in peace and sleep. For you alone, O Lord, it says here in Psalm chapter 4, verse 8, make me dwell in safety. The Heavenly Father is one who's going to help us live in safety. If you take your Bible and read about the Hebrew children, in, uh, now this to me is very profound. I have heard this story before. I have seen the movie but when you read the Holy Word for yourself, the Heavenly Father will give wonderful spiritual jewel nuggets, nuggets of revelation. In the book of Exodus, when the Hebrew children were living in a particular area and Pharaoh was just really being mean and nasty toward the Hebrew children. And this is when Moses, Moshe, and Aaron went to the Pharaoh and telling Pharaoh to let the people go to serve the Almighty Yahweh And of course, each time Pharaoh said no, he would pretend to repent and then he would backtrack and say, no, I'm not going to let you or your people go. What I learned from reading that story in the Holy Bible, the Holy Scripture, is that when the plagues came, Upon Egypt, none of the Hebrew children were affected by the plague. They were protected. They had a refuge and they had a fortress around them. And that's because they were obedient to have the father put the blood of the lamb on the lintel and the doorpost. They had to follow instructions. And we have instruction manual uh, called the Holy Bible, uh, we got the Holy Scriptures to read. We have the Holy Scriptures to read. This is our instruction manual so that we can follow to have the Heavenly Father's protection, peace, power, provision, His anointing, His favor, His forgiveness, His grace, mercy, love, His wisdom, intelligence, knowledge, understanding, 
he will bless us when we are blessing him. How do we bless him? By obeying his word, reading his word, doing his word. We bless him by loving him with all our heart, mind, soul, and strength. Loving our neighbor as we love ourselves. So thank you for your wonderful time. Thank you. This teaching a little bit longer than I wanted, but Heavenly Father is in charge and in control. Let's end with prayer. <laughs> Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for your holy scriptures. Thank you for your holy word. Help us to live holy, pure, and righteous every day as we spend time in your word every day. We're reading and are studying, meditating, listening to your holy word every day. Heavenly Father, we love your holy word. We want to do your holy word. We want to be your holy word. Help us through the fires and the flood and the waters and the rivers. Help us through the trying and difficult times that are coming upon the earth. Help us prepare for the super great depression that's coming upon the world, the globe. A global financial crash is coming, which is going to urge you in a super great depression. And help us to live holy, pure, and righteous with your provision, your power, peace, and protection in these days of Lord preparation journey. In the days of Lot and these last days that we're now living in. Heavenly Father, we pray that we be found a good and faithful servant when the Messiah Yeshua, Yeshua comes. We pray that we live in your kingdom. Hallelujah. And thank you, thank you, thank you for all your wonderful many blessings. And just too many blessings to count and recall because you're so good to us in spite of ourselves, Heavenly Father. In the name of Messiah Yeshua, we thank you, Heavenly Father. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you and blessings.